So my video today is on radios, more specifically radio transmitters, what they are and how they work. Now the definition of radio as provided by Google is a transmission and reception of electromagnetic waves of radio frequency, especially those carrying sound me messages. What I'll be focusing on in this video is the transmission of electromagnetic waves and what enables it, the transmitters. Now to get an idea of how a radio works, you can start with a battery right here, a switch, and a compass. Now what happens is when you connect the two terminals by turning on the switch, you let a wave of electricity, electrons, through the wire, through the circuit. When this happens, you have a compass attached. When this happens, it creates an electromagnetic field, which in turn moves the compass. Now, when you turn the switch back off, the compass goes back down and the electromagnetic field is gone. Now, to build upon what I just said, if you took another wire and placed it parallel to the other wire, like about five centimeters away, then every time you reconnected the two terminals of the battery by turning on the switch, you would sense a small voltage and current in the second wire over here. This happens because any changing magnetic field can induce an electric field in a conductor. So to summarize, first, the connected battery creates an, uh, an electron, electron electricity flow through its first circuit which causes the compass to go up and or any direction and a magnetic field to be created. Now eventually this magnetic field stretches out to the second wire which is what causes the electrons, the electricity, to flow through this also making it so you can sense the um, energy in the voltometer. This brings me to the really important concept right here. A magnetic field does not cause electrons to flow in a wire unless the magnetic field is changing. So the easy way to do this in this case, the change to magnetic field, magnetic field, would just simply be to turn on and off the circuit. And that would create your field to go on and off again. Now, an even better way to create a continuously varying electric current in a wire would be to create a sine wave. In order to do that, you would need a resistor, a capacitor, an inductor, the wire, and you'd need a radio tower, which is right here, the antenna. By creating a sine wave and running it through a wire, you create a simple radio transmitter. By sending that signal, so you got the sine wave, by sending that to a radio tower, you will in turn send those waves back into space to be recepted by any kind of radio or AM, FM, depends what kind. So, um, that's it. I hope you learned something, and thank you for watching.